morning guys Matt here and I'm out doing a little thrifting uh, this morning and I wanted to take you guys along with me if you're new to the channel hello again my name is Matt I'm a full-time eBay reseller and um, I usually go to the thrift stores on a daily basis so thought today I might take you guys with me I might do a little shooting in the store but I don't know if I'm quite comfortable with that yet so it may just be like a recap from my car but the plan today is to hit five to seven thrift stores and the post office so wanted to take you guys along with me like i said i'll show you guys if i get anything in here we're at st visit the paul first if i get anything from in here then i will show you guys when i get back to the car so i'll see you guys in a minute toy section board games and toys and stuff for 50 percent off today Just looking for some sealed stuff usually what I look for. Older, rare board games as well. Is anything too great so far? Usually on 50% off day, I at least get a few sealed board games. Here's a sealed one, but I looked this up yesterday. Beat the experts. Not a whole lot of value on that one. It would be 250 today. I think it sells for like 10 bucks or something. So not really for me. Nothing inside that first St. Vincent de Paul. Um, they had 50% off toys, which I usually do pretty good. But they just didn't have anything, unfortunately, for me. Uh, a couple of sealed board games, but not anything with any value, unfortunately. No good video games or electronics or anything today. Um, but that's just the way it goes. Like I said, we have, I don't know, five or six more thrift stores to hit. So we're going to be on to the next stop, and I will see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we just left the post office, so here we are at stop, uh, thrift stop number two, and that's going to be the Goodwill. Um, usually find some decent stuff in here from time to time, but let's go check it out and see what we find. Yeah. Usually have a pretty decent selection of games here. I definitely get some from time to time. Some decent titles. Really seeing anything too great yet? But a bunch of NHL games, a lot of stuff that I typically would buy if I was at another store for my collection. A lot of these games I don't have in my collection, but over here they. they tend to charge quite a bit for games. Usually most of their games are four or five dollars a piece, so pretty expensive for games. But now I'm not seeing anything for reselling purposes. Unfortunately, what's this? It's just in books. Some Narnia books. Let's go check out the electronics. So I usually find some decent stuff here. Oh, there's an old Xbox 360. Missing the plate. I wonder what they want for that. Oh man, that thing is yellowed. Yeah, it's pretty rough. That's a rough one. Smith Corona typewriter. What the dust cover? That one I've sold before. Brother typewriters I sell a lot of, and I do pretty well on those. But I've had a couple Smith Coronas. I haven't really been able to move those nearly as well as the Brother typewriters. Just a bunch of 
random cords and stuff. So nothing too exciting in here, man. So big JVC is missing the front there. Sony five disc changer. Nothing of uh, value in there. Unfortunately, they had some video game stuff, but usually it's all overpriced, and there wasn't really anything good to resell. Like I said, if I was, if it was some of those games were at the other thrift stores where they're like two bucks a piece, I might pick them up for my collection. But four or five bucks is way too much. So, on to stop number three. I think it's the same Vincent DePaul. So, I will see you guys when we get there. We are at. First store number three, St. Vincent de Paul number two. Um, don't come to this one very often, but when I do, I find some stuff every now and again. So let's get inside and see what we find. All right, just got done inside that St. Vincent de Paul. I was hoping to uh, do some filming in there, but the music was so loud that I, there's just no way I would have been able to get without like a copyright strike or something. So didn't do any filming in there, but we found a couple of things. So. Finally, I found the third stop. We found a couple of things. We found a couple of staples in my reselling business. One, old school Polaroid right there. I paid $3 for this. This is $27.99 all day free shipping to retrospect. I'll be able to make about, um, after fees and stuff, about 15 or 16 bucks off this uh, in about 10 or 15 minutes. So pretty solid. Love picking up the Polaroids as always. And another game that I s I've sold a lot of, but I haven't really found many of these lately and um, Scott the Bearded Picker um, told me about this in one of his videos and uh, it's something that, I, like I said, I had five copies of this game and they all sold within a couple of weeks and I can usually sell them for about 25 bucks and that game is, who knew? Who knew, uh, Cranium, who knew? Um, I find, like I said, I find this kind of, not so much anymore often, but at first I was finding a lot and then all of a sudden I didn't find any. I think I was thinking about yesterday, like, man, I haven't seen a Hunu game in a while. Sure enough, here it was, paid $2 for this. This is complete. Uh, that's the most important thing on these is to make sure there's a lot of like little chips and stuff. Um, but once you familiar, familiarize yourself with, uh, the contents of the game, it's actually really easy to check when you're in the store. So two bucks, this one is complete. So that's awesome. Um, I think I've been selling these for like $25 or something plus shipping something around in there I believe so not bad. I'll end up profiting. I don't know 15 to 18 dollars on who knew so Pretty cool and finally found something at one of these thrift stores So we have one two two if not three more stops to go So I will catch up with you guys at the next thrift store, which I believe is going to be uh, St. Vincent de Paul again, so I will see you guys there Vincent Paul, our next stop. Checking out the electronic stuff. Usually they have 50% off most days on electronics, but not today. So, have to be something pretty good for me to pick up today. Because probably tomorrow this stuff will be 50% off. Tony Rock Ride.
we are at the last stop Salvation Army um, don't go to many of these but sometimes I do pretty decent in here let's see what we find inside A very big game selection here. I will say that it's mostly clothes. The store is probably 90% clothing racks. So, been trying to look into figure more about clothing, but oh, it's a lot. You can see, it's clothing racks everywhere. So. It is a category I'm trying to learn more about, but it's a slow process. I wonder if this filter has been here for a month now. But usually I do pretty well on like water filters and stuff, but that particular one does not have any value, unfortunately. I guess if it did, it wouldn't be here for a month. Grips. Hmm. Interesting. I want four bucks for those bike grips. What's this thing? This has been here for a while too. Some like. J Max MP3 microphone or something. Disney Dissidents. Nice thermos mugs. It's a Cabela's caribou coffee. Glassware. They have a pretty small electronic section too. Like I said, it's mostly clothes in here. This one's the closest to my house. I come here maybe, maybe once a week. Sometimes I find stuff, but most of the time I do not. It's just not a very large selection of stuff that I'm interested in. I get better at looking at clothes I'll probably come here more often because like I said it's a lot of clothes as you can see a ton of clothes so sold <laughs> sold New York Rangers fan I live in Cincinnati Ohio so it's pretty yellow but it's just interesting to see that something like that here in Cincinnati Clothes. So, I mean, they got a few toys, but not too much. There's a bunch of the stuff thrown on top of a rack. Some stuff in bags. Not seeing a whole lot. Some old play school toys. Yeah, those are fun. <laughs> those gotta be from like the 80s or something. 1991 on the bottom there. I was close. I, think I had one of those when I was a kid. Too much here. Uh, the 
this was the last stop of the day, so I'll catch up with you guys in the car to do a final recap of what we picked up. All right, guys, just left that Salvation Army. Didn't find anything in there, unfortunately. Um, but that is the last stop of the day. I wanted to do just kind of a, it's going to be a quick recap because we didn't pick up that much stuff. How many thrift stores did we hit? One, two, three, four, five, six. We hit six thrift stores, three St. Vincent de Paul's, two good, a Goodwill, a Valley thrift store, and a uh, Salvation Army. Um, wanted to do, do more filming inside, but like I said, I'm not super comfortable with it yet. In some places, the music's just so loud that I really can't uh, get any footage in there. But let's do a quick recap of what we picked up today. Like you guys saw, guys saw earlier, we got the the Polaroid for three bucks. Nice find, pretty easy. Got the Who Knew game for two bucks. Like I said, I'll be able to sell this for like 25 plus shipping, I believe remember correctly and then I wanted to show you guys this and get your thoughts on something that I'm thinking about doing it's kind of a big thing for me uh, but it has like long-term potential to be pretty profitable but I picked up these um, at st. Vincent de Paul and I didn't get a chance to, to film it because I was talking to the manager but these are what's called I it's ivory body wash or like little travel size so they have a whole palette of, of boxes of these um, little body washes travel size and they want 50 cents a bottle so I bought two boxes to just try to ex experiment so 50 cents a bottle in each box there's 24 bottles so I paid 12 bucks a box these sell for five dollars like 4.99 free shipping on ebay right now um there's not a whole lot posted there's not a whole lot of information some sell some don't it's kind of that kind of thing uh but for 50 at 50 cents a bottle and you could sell them for five bucks i mean that's not bad but here's kind of the the thought i'm, I'm i was thinking was i asked the manager i said you know what kind of deal could you give me if i bought all of them the whole palette and she did some math I think there was 864 bottles on the pallet once we counted up the boxes and that would have came to a total of like $432 at 50 cents a bottle is what they have them marked at she said if you bought all 36 boxes I could give you them for half that price so I think it ended up working like $216 for 864 bottles that I can sell for a total of five dollars for each bottle on eBay now after I ran some numbers and my profit would be so I'd be spending two hundred and sixteen dollars my profit would be right around sixteen hundred if I sold each bottle at five bucks free shipping so it would be a quarter a bottle the profit on each bottle would be a dollar eighty five times uh, what did I say there was eight hundred and sixty four bottles or something like that so 200 into 16 sounds pretty good so the, what's the downside is that there would be 36 cases of these little bottles of body wash in my house or in my garage taking up that space it would take a long time to sell these you know this isn't something where i'm going to be able to flip these really quick and make you know that kind of you know turn 200 into 1600 it would be something where you know if we could sell a couple of these a week i was thinking of doing like different size listings like one bottle for five bucks or two bottles for 10 or three bottles for 15 stuff like that or even sell them by the case somebody who travels a lot might want might want to just buy a whole case i'm not really sure but uh, that was just my initial thoughts and i'd like to hear what you guys think what would you guys have done in that situation the the manager gave me the number i told her i'd had to think about it um, obviously because you know two hundred and sixteen dollars is you know a little bit of money i mean you know it's a little bit of an investment like i said it's not a quick flip it's not a quick turn like we're used to the the one ofs we're used to buying some one of these and flipping it you know for money right away so it would be something that would take a long time to sell 864 bottles of this would take a long time but ebay is something that i'm going to be doing for the long term so it's not like you know i wouldn't make eventually make that money you know like i said it would just be the time it would take to you know it would be taking up a lot of space 
you know, take a lot of time. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm back and forth. I, you know, it's one point I'm thinking, yeah, I should probably do it. And I try to think what would other resellers do. Maybe they would do it. Maybe they wouldn't do it. But anyway, let me uh, let me know in the in the comments what you guys think. What you know, what would you think? Hopefully, I explained it well enough to where you guys could kind of make a, you know, have a thought on this. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you like this kind of video. I go through, like I said, I go thrifting every, every day, so I can make quite a uh, quite a few videos like this. And usually, each day I hit anywhere between four to seven or eight thrift stores a day. So. Uh, you know, like I said, if you like this kind of video, hopefully you'll let me know and I'll, I'll continue to make uh, videos like this. I just wanted to, to get some other content on the channel other than just what's old videos. Just put out a video about a storage unit I purchased. So, you know, just trying to do some different kind of content and, and bring some different things to you guys as someone's car alarm goes off. But anyway, that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.